Hi everyone, Stephen is here. Um, I hope everyone had a great Easter, and I hope that you and your family are still very healthy and alive. Um, well, um, I got a great news. Um, I finally got a new phone, so this is great. I I've been playing with it, you know, all weekend, so I'm I'm, I'm really enjoying this new phone. Unfortunately. Um, I still can't send out uh, a large group text because um, I thought it was my phone, but it wasn't my phone. It was, I think it's my plan, the plan that I have with my uh, provider. Um, so I'm sorry, I still can't um, text you back, but I do read all your texts um, when you, when you uh, send it in, in the large group uh, text room. Um, I, I did ask, you know, I asked for your feedback and I asked for any advice or suggestions, you know, but I didn't get a lot, but, you know, except, as, you know, I heard, you know, most of you said, thank you, thank you, thank you, teacher, thank you, thank you, and you're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome. Um, however, um, let's see, you know, not everybody's been responding. Every time you watch these videos, you need to uh, text, uh, text us um, that, that you have watched them, okay? Um, let's see, so far we have Annalyn, Trin, Yunmi, Insuk, Alexandra, Maria, Guadalupe, Nawal, and Ji-Yum. Um, uh, and I think there are a couple more people. I can't figure out uh, who you are uh, because because none, none of you are really writing down your name. So when you say you're, you watch the uh, videos, uh, please just, don't just say I'm done or I'm finished. Write down your name as well so we can figure out who you are, okay? Um, I think Maria Marquez actually uh, texted me on my personal number, which I appreciate. So uh, if you do that, I can, re I can reply back to you um, immediately almost. So um, if you want to chat with me or text me, that's fine, okay? You can do that as well. And also, I think GM also made um, uh, direct comments on YouTube, okay? Uh, the, the videos are uploaded on, uh, onto YouTube uh, website, and you can actually write comments right below the video, okay? And that's what she did, and she asked a question, actually. She said, when do these videos get uploaded each week? And the answer is, um, you know, our class schedule originally is uh, what Mondays and Wednesdays so that's when the videos are uh, are getting uploaded Mondays and Wednesdays of each week now you know in, at the office at CPAX you know they're very busy right now they got so many videos and so many other things to take care of so sometimes they can't get everything uploaded on the on the right day but uh, I am sure that these videos will be up, uh, uploaded by Thursdays, uh, I'm sorry, Tuesdays and Thursdays at the latest of each week, okay? So every week, uh, you know, you look for them, you know, uh, Monday and Wednesday. If you don't see them, if you don't see the new videos uploaded, they should be there by um, Tuesdays and Thursdays at the latest, okay? Thank you for your comments, and thank you for your uh, messages, and thank you for your uh, questions, yeah? Um, let's see. Um, you know, nobody really gave me any specific feedback uh, except to say thank you, which I appreciate. But uh, I looked at myself. I think I talked a little bit too loud, so I'm going to try to talk softer. Okay, so I'm gonna talk softer. I think my voice sounds better anyway when I talk softer. Okay, so uh, remind me if I, you know, start to talk loud again. I will try to talk softer uh, in the future videos. Okay, um, let's see. Um, um, these books. Okay, so we are, you know, we're doing Ventures Three. Okay, so. Um, we're still in the welcome section, and if you, you know, I know, I know you probably went through these books already, but if you want to go back and review with me, you know, that'll be great. Um, you know, as you know, all, all these um, books have um, QR codes, and if you have a scanner, if you have a scanner on your phone, download it, uh, the QR code reader or scanner, 
um, you can always um, um, scan the scan the code, and then you can play the play this audio. You know that, right? Page three, exercise two A. Hi, Sylvia. What do you want to do in the future? I want to open my own beauty salon someday. What steps do you need to take? First, I need to go to beauty school for two years. What's the next step after that? Second, I need to take an exam to get my license. And after that? Third, I need to work in a salon to get experience. That sounds great. Do you have any other goals? I hope to become a business owner in five years. I don't want to work for anyone else. Okay, so you know, I'm sure you know how to use the QR code reader, and you, you know, using your smartphone, and you can go back over these if you have, if, you know, if you if you've already done it, uh, you know, about a month or two ago. And just review all these pages. Um, you know, uh, we're doing we're reviewing present tense and past tense. So that's what we're gonna do today, real quick. And go ahead and do that. And also, also on your, also in the, you know, the workbook, do them as well. And you know, these are these are good exercises, good practice. So, and if you have any questions, just let me know. Okay. All right, let's move right along and let's get to English, okay? Yeah. All right, so we're going to be doing simple present today, simple present, and, and we're going to be talking about the regular ones, okay? Regular simple present. And I'm going to do this really quick because, you know, this, this is very easy. This is level one, level two stuff, and you should know these things, okay? All right, so... First word is work. Work is a regular verb. Okay? You know, in English, the regular verbs are so easy. Okay, so easy. Okay, so first person is work. Second person is so I work, you work, he, she, it works. Okay, as you know, third person singular has that s, and then in plural, it's all work, 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 work. work okay, we work, you work, they work. Okay, so they're all same except for third person singular. All right. Just remember that third person singular for you, for the Spanish speakers. It can be a little bit confusing sometimes because in Spanish, the second person has the S, right? But in English, it's the third person singular that has the S. Okay. So you just put an S. Okay. Except, what if you have a word like wash? Wash. Okay. So you're saying wash. I wash. You wash. How about third person? He. Right. You have to put ES. Why do we put ES in this word? Okay. On this word, why do we put ES? Okay. Because it ends with H. Okay. So any words that ends with H, S, or X, okay, they get ES. Okay, so words like what? Uh, wash, I wash, he washes. Okay, uh, words like pass, I pass, he passes. And then fix, okay? I fix, she fixes. Okay, so the, the words that ends with H, S, and X gets ES, not just an S. Okay, so you knew that, right? So plural is all same, okay? Only the third person singular, only the third person singular has um, S's, okay? All right, what about words like play and study? Play and study, play and study. Okay, as you know, play is like any other regular verb in the, in the present, okay? I play, you play, he, she, it, oops, plays, right? Third person singular has that S again, right? And the plurals are all same, play, play, play. All right, but how about study? How about study? 
Okay, so everybody's same again except for what? Except for the third person singular. And third person singular is what? Yes, you know. Okay, you take out the Y and put IES. Okay. Alright. So how come they both end in Y? How come in play you just put S? But in study, you put IES. Why? Why do you do that? Who knows? Okay. <laughs> Most of you know. Maybe everyone. Everyone knows. Okay. So, yes. Uh, just like the, just like the, uh, just like the nouns that we talked about, singular and plural nouns, in verbs is the same rule. Okay. If the letter before the Y is a vowel, you just put an S. That's it. Okay. If the letter before the Y is a vowel, just put S. But if the letter before the Y is a what? Is a consonant. If it's a consonant, then you remove the Y, you take out the Y, and put I-E-S. Okay? Very simple. Okay? <laughs> All right. Just, just, a, just a review, just a reminder. Okay? So simple present, very easy. Okay? And... Simple present regular verbs, only two forms. Okay, like for that, for, for the word work, you have work and works. That's it. Only two different forms in the simple present regular verbs. Okay, work and works, wash and washes, play and plays, study and studies. That's it. Only two forms in the simple present. Okay, all right. Very straightforward. Let's go to the, um, Past, past tense, okay? Past tense, past tense, past tense, okay? So we're gonna do, we're gonna do the past tense, okay? Simple, simple past, okay? Simple past. All right, so work becomes, as you know, worked okay and in in the simple past regular verbs guess what it's even easier it's even, it's even easier than the than the simple present why because everybody's saying okay simple simple past regular verbs in english Equal opportunity for everyone, okay? I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they. Everybody is same, okay? So it's very easy. So work, you just put, you just put worked. That's it. And everybody's saying, I worked, you worked, he worked, she worked, it worked, we worked, you worked, they worked, okay? And then wash, same thing. No special, no special rules. No special rules, just put ED, okay? Very easy, okay? Very easy, okay? And then uh, play, same thing, played, okay? And then same here, same here, study, what do you do? You take out the Y because this is a constant, right? And then put I-E-D, okay? But only one syllable. You don't say studied, is studied. Studied, okay? Studied. No studied, okay? So, that's it. And everybody's saying, everybody's saying, everybody's saying. Very easy. E-D, 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 and then just the Y with the consonant letter uh, before the Y, guess I-E-D, I-E-D. And it's just pronounced id. Not yet, okay? So it's studied, not study yet, okay? Very, very straightforward, okay? And so in the regular verb, there's only one form for every, every regular verb, only one form, okay? So work is worked, that's it. Work is worked, that's it. Very simple, okay? So, um, you know, um, in the, in the present, remember, we had two forms, work and works, and then worked. That's it. Okay? So you had work, work.
works. Worked. One, two, three. And then another form is working. Okay. That's present participle or, or gerund, whatever you want to call it, uh, depending on how they're used. But you got one, two, three, four. That's it. Four forms. And you're done. Okay. For regular verbs, regular verbs in English, very simple. Only four forms. That's it. No more. Not even five or six. One, two, three, four. That's it. That's it. Only four forms. Okay. Washed. Wash is same thing. Wash, washes, washed, washing. That's it. Only four forms. That's it. It's simple. In regular, regular uh, verbs. Regular verbs only have four forms. English is very easy compared to other languages when it comes to verbs. Okay? Very good. Very good. Now, at this moment, I do want to talk about um, a little bit about pronunciation. Okay? A little bit about pronunciation. Okay? A little bit about pronunciation. So, we're doing this really fast because this is very easy stuff and I know everybody knows all this stuff but let's do a little bit of pronunciation here okay so um so when you have the word worked okay how many syllable is that how many syllables okay how many syllables okay remember work in the present is just one syllable right work how about this word is it one or two one or two okay what do you think all right <laughs> one or two okay i know some people like you know want to pronounce that work it okay work it work it two syllables but that's not how we pronounce that this is pronounced worked worked okay it's almost like if you can make a word it's like that worked worked okay worked is one syllable okay one syllable Okay, and same thing with wash, one syllable. This one is washed, 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 okay? So it's not wash it, it's not wash it, okay? So this is one, this is one syllable, okay? Syllable, all right? And we, we talked about what? Play, okay, play. All right, so this one is? Played, played, okay, played. It's still one, it's still one. Okay, how about study? Study is study, two syllables, right? Study. But when you make it past tense, how many syllables? Is that studied or studied? Okay, it's studied, right? All right, so. So this one is uh, two to two, okay? This is one to one, one to one, one to one, okay? So, as you can tell, all these words, you don't get extra syllable in the past tense form, okay? The present, if present has one syllable, past has one syllable. If present has two syllables, then past has two syllables. No extra syllables. However, there are some words which uh, which do get um, extra syllable, okay? Words like um, need, okay? Need is one syllable, right? But in the past is needed, 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 okay? So when you put ed, that's extra. So that that's that's one going to two, okay? That's extra syllable, okay? So this one is extra syllable. Okay, and how about one? How about one? Want is one syllable, but in the past tense, in past form is what? Wanted, wanted, or you know, a lot of Americans just say wanted, wanted, okay? Or wanted or wanted, all right? Whether you pronounce it T or not, this is what? Extra, okay? That's, that's going from one syllable to two syllables, okay? Want, wanted wanted okay um how about celebrate Cele celebrate okay 
Okay, so if so in the present is celebrate. Three syllables, right? Celebrate. Celebrate. Okay? But when you put the D to make it past form, do, do you have uh, three syllables or four? Celebrated. 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 Okay? So it's extra. It's extra. Okay? It's extra. Now, when do we when do we get these extra syllables? Very easy. When the verb ends in D or T. D or T, extra syllable. Okay? So um how about a how about a word land? Okay? The plane the plane lands on at the airport, right? And then if you make it past tense, you say plane landed. Landed. Extra. Why? Because of the D ending. Okay? Same thing with guide. Guide. Oh, by the way, when a when a when a verb ends in E, to make it a uh, past form, you simply put a D because it already has an E, right? You don't put that extra E. Okay? Like bake bake is baked. Okay? Guide is guided. Okay? Celebrate, celebrate it. Celebrate it. Okay? Okay, so just put a D if it ends in E. Okay. Anyway, so guided has a D consonant, right? The last consonant of the word is D. So you put you put uh, you put uh, when you put ed to make it past form, you get that extra syllable. So all the all the uh, words that ends in uh, all the verbs that ends in d or t, d or t, okay, d and t, extra syllable. D and t gets extra syllable. Okay. All right. See you in the next video. Okay. Bye.